Hey everyone, it's Molly. Today I thought we'd make another old-fashioned cookie recipe. Specifically, let's make old-fashioned chocolate chip cookies. I think this recipe should be good. Um, like a typical old school recipe calls for shortening instead of butter. Um, so let's give it a go and let's see how they turn out. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to cream the shortening brown sugar and white sugar together. I put the brown sugar and white sugar in the same bowl because they get added at the same time. And then we'll add some of the vanilla. And I never really measure vanilla. I just kind of figure more is better than not enough. So I probably add more than the recipe calls for, but I'm not whining about that. So um, you could do this by hand. You could do this with a handheld mixer. I'm just using my KitchenAid because it's convenient. And so let's get this going. All right, in goes my egg. And don't forget to stop your mixer and scrape the bowl. Even if you're mixing it by hand, don't forget to scrape the bowl. Just get everything incorporated. There's nothing worse than when you're finished making your cookies and there's flour at the end. So now I'm adding the flour and I'm adding the salt and baking soda. I said to sift these together. I didn't because I didn't read the instructions beforehand, but I think it'll be okay. I'm adding the walnuts next, and I just happened to have this bag that needed to be used up that had about the amount the recipe called for, so those go in. And then um, I had half a bag of chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet and in they go. The recipe only calls for seven to eight ounces of chocolate chips. So, which is about like half, like roughly half a bag, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more, I mean. Mixy, mixy. And then we'll put them on a cookie sheet. I caught him trying to steal some cookie dough, so I chased him out of the kitchen. Okay, so my oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and it says to drop these from a teaspoon and that it's supposed to make about five dozen or, you know, 60 cookies. So I'm just using a spoon. I always make my cookies bigger than the recipe calls for. It's not intentional. It's just I can't follow directions very well. And so we'll see how many I get out of this. Um, but yeah, so you bake them for about 12 minutes. Uh, it says to do this on a greased cookie sheet. I'm just using parchment paper because I don't feel like greasing the cookie sheet. But yeah, let's get these in the oven and then we'll see how they taste. I did not get 60 cookies. I couldn't imagine these any smaller. They would be tiny. I forgot to mention that I'll put this recipe for you guys down below in the video's description box so you'll have it. And let's see what Dan's up to. Just as I figured, he is exercising. Dan uh, does bodybuilding and he's getting ready for a couple shows. So I shouldn't be offering him a cookie, but he's been on here for an hour and I think he could really use the energy. So let's see if he wants it. And He's eyeballing it, and he basically pretty much decided that he did want it. Just took him a minute. I know he's feeling guilty, and I shouldn't offer it to him, but I feel bad. I think he's earned a little reward. Okay, so we gave Dan a cookie, but he's still exercising, so I haven't heard his verdict on whether he liked it or not. But. I can taste it and let you know. So these cookies, this recipe came from the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, which is from, I think the latest copyright edition of this was like 1950. So 50s cookies. All right, let's try them out. And these are great. They have that great classic chocolate chip cookie flavor. Now, obviously they don't have a buttery taste because there's no butter in these. I find that a lot of old cookie recipes, at least the ones that from the cookbooks I have, they mainly call for shortening. So we don't get that buttery flavor that I'm, I'm used to in chocolate chip cookies, but they still are really good. They're soft, but they're still crispy, and they have a great flavor. I think these are great. And I did not get 60 cookies. I got 
I don't even know, I didn't count them. I got less than 60. Uh, you were supposed to drop these from a teaspoonful, but those would be so small. Those would just be so small, so I'm not sure. I don't know, but anyways, they're great. They were really fast to make, super fast to make, and they were easy. It'd be great to make these with kids or just, if you're out of butter or you don't want to spend money on butter, these are a great alternative. So I hope you like this recipe. If you have any other cookie recipes you want me to make, please leave me a comment below and I will leave a link above to my uh, other chocolate chip cookie recipe that was very similar to this, but from a totally different book. And maybe compare and contrast the two. All right, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.